Hello, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will give you messages and guidance from Spirit to help you through your day and on your journey. Coming out, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool, a new stable foundation, perhaps even taking a bold leap of faith on something financial. The Ten of Pentacles comes first. So this is about security, stability, feeling but the fool is without security and stability. So there might be a change in, well, we'll see if those come out before I read into them. We'll see if they come out during your reading. So let's sh do some shuffles and see if they come out. Otherwise, let's dive in and get this cracking. I hope you all are doing wonderfully, wonderful. Let's see what we get today. Sorry I didn't do a reading yesterday. I was just slammed with stuff. So finally got a break in work. So, all right, let's see what we get for you today. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what Pisces needs to know. Two cards. The first one we have is the Three of Pentacles, teamwork, creativity, bringing your skills, talents, abilities to market, to bear. I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn to the three energy of creativity. Threes are pentacles, which are material. So using your creative skills to benefit you to for some type of profit or benefit. The next card we have is the Four of Swords. I'm hearing peacefulness, doing things that lead you to peacefulness. Some of you may need to take rest. I'm also hearing meditation. The Four of Swords also represents healing. So I, I'm getting also creativity, utilizing your creativity may be very healing for some of you. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? The next message we have is the Nine of Pentacles, that security, that stability. The Nine of Pentacles, the card is very yellow. So we see a lot of self-empowerment, self-belief self is what I'm hearing. So we're, we're seeing you in a very stable, very comfortable environment. The Nine of Pentacles has worked for what they have. The Nine of Pentacles represents a vitality of good good health, good strength, good security and stability. The Nine of Pentacles also represents being in beautiful surroundings. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces, the Nine of Pentacles is very comfortable. Then we see the Seven of Pentacles, sowing, reaping what you sow, really thinking about what it is you want, what it is you've done. I'm getting contemplation. We'll clarify these in a moment as well. What other messages for Pisces? Thinking something through, really thinking something through, looking at all the different options, looking at the different material things you have around you. What other messages for Pisces? Looking at your financial options as well, whether that be different jobs, applying for different jobs, different financial investments. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of investing long-term. What other messages for Pisces? Thank you. One more message for Pisces, please. Anything else for Pisces? Thank you. And the Eight of Wands. So. We'll see what's going on. Beautiful. Really thinking about what it is that is your wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is about you. This is about you. The, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This is very beautiful energy. Getting yourself to a place of security, stability, belief in yourself, self-confidence, I'm hearing that some of you may be struggling with your self-worth. That is not for everybody. But for those of you who do resonate with 
challenges with your belief in yourself or your belief in your self-worth, Spirit is telling me, and I'm getting chill bumps, you are worthy and you are deserving. Then we go back to the Nine of Cups. This is about you. This is about your wish fulfillment, focusing more on you. Pisces often tends to focus outwardly, giving to others, giving your energy, giving your healing, giving and giving and giving, and what after all that giving is left for you. So Spirit is asking you to look upon what it is you truly desire. And then we see an energetic shift, movement. The There is no, there are no people on this card. There, are on, there is only fast movement. The Eight of Wands in the Minor Arcana is a very fast, rapid energy. This can mean a message is coming through very rapidly, a quick shift in energy or harnessing energy. It's also a directional shift. Let's get clarification for these. So, so far we have, you know, cards that are showing utilizing your creativity or working with a team on a project, using your skills, coming to a place of peace, restfulness, healing, meditating, being in your confidence, in your power, thinking about what it is you truly want and moving in that direction. What is this Three of Pentacles for Pisces, please? What is this Three of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? Yes, so how are you going to apply your creative skills? Now, I am hearing spiritual gifts. Some of you have been questioning, wondering, not questioning if you have spiritual gifts, but wondering how to develop them. And you're looking here at different ways to develop your spiritual gifts. The Seven of Cups can also be online dating or online information, seeking different options. I'm also seeing that some of you have multiple spiritual gifts. There are nine spiritual gifts. Um, I'm not going to name them all because I probably can't remember them all right now anyway. Um, but we see here using your creativity and choosing how to channel, how not, I don't want to use the word channel because that can be misconstrued, how to apply or where to put, which cup to put your creative juices and your creative energies what cup to apply your skills and abilities to. That's a better way to say that. Let's look at this Four of Swords. Now, I am seeing for some of you, you could feel confused about what to create. You could feel confused about what your gifts are. And that's why we're, see we're seeing this energy of really coming to a place of peace and having introspection and taking some time to really examine um, your options, examine what's true. What is this four of swords for Pisces? What is this four of swords for Pisces? Please show us clearly what this four of swords is. What is this four of swords for Pisces? Please start. it. And we are getting... There's an offer, an opportunity coming, Pisces. The night, nights are taking action or change. Cups are emotions, water. We're seeing coming to a place of rest and peace is going to really change your emotional position. And it may even bring in new opportunities for you. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. Some of you are at a crossroads there may even be an offer within an organization. You may even have a, a change in your traditional belief structure. Let's move on to this Nine of Pentacles. What is this Nine of Pentacles, please? I'm, I'm also hearing off this Hierophant, there could be a foundational change. Coming to a place of rest, a place of healing, a place of peace is going to usher in an emotional change for you that can lead to a foundational shift. What is this nine of pentacles, please? So particularly, going back to this, 
particularly for those of you who feel very at sea, very restless, very questioning, it's going to be more important it's important for all of you, but it's going to be more so important for you to find a place of peace, a place of calm, a place of stillness within yourself. What is this nine of pentacles? If you don't have stillness within yourself, you'll never have stillness in the world. What is this nine of pentacles, please? And we are getting the king of wands. So this is about self-empowerment. The king of wands sits in the seat of authority is in the seat of control, is not budging, but is holding the Ace of Wands, a passion, a possibility of growth and expansion. And it's coming from a place of self-empowerment, of security, of stability. So this is about your self-empowerment, Pisces, how you're, how you're applying your skills, your, your gifts, your abilities, coming to a place of peace, of stillness so you can more clearly discern and decide how to go forward but this is going to take some examination what is the seven of pentacles for pisces what is the seven of pentacles for pisces i'm he i'm hearing even if you already know or you think you already know what direction or what gifts or abilities you have, it's still going to be beneficial for you to take time to reflect upon them and reflect also about like opening yourself up to new or ex different possibilities, creative abilities, educational po possibilities, or different gifts as well. What is the seven of pentacles, please? And here we have the fool opening yourself up. This is a reset. What direction do you, I, mean, I keep hearing, how does your garden grow? I don't know why I keep hearing that, but I, I do. It's like, how does your garden grow? And we see taking a bold leap of faith in a new direction. Your spirit is with you. The sun is shining upon you. This is a blessed time in your life, Pisces. Whether you recognize it or not, this is going to be a, a I'm hearing divine blessing actually for you to take some time to think about what it is that truly is fulfilling for you. Now, I do need to clarify, this is not about being emotional. Um, this is not about what you necessarily feel but how you're being called and how you're being guided, what skills and abilities you've been gifted with and taking a bold leap of faith in that direction. What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces? What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces, please? So what I'm hearing is there's a reason that you have a want. Those are seeds that are planted from your soul path there is a reason why you are feeling called, why you've been gifted the gifts, why you have the skills and abilities that you have. And it's calling you, you're, you're having indicators that are pointing you in a particular direction. And if you're not, you may need to, again, that's coming back to this place of stillness where you understand what your foundation is, what the foundation of your skills are, what the foundations of your creativity are, what the foundations of your spiritual gifts are. Then we see successfully moving forward victoriously. The chariot is a card of success, of victory, of overcoming, achievement, of winning. And here it's next to the nine of cups, which is saying, I just heard also be careful what you wish for. Make sure it's in alignment with what is best and healthy and good and right for yourself. But here, this is about your fulfillment. Moving forward in the direction of your fulfillment. Taking that bold leap of faith and having the gusto, having the courage to move forward. Taking that bold leap of faith. And what is this Eight of Wands for Pisces? 
What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? There's an energetic shift coming here. What is this Eight of Wands, please? Some of you can feel it. Two of Cups, something meant for you. Now, the Two of Cups can, the for some of you, this can reference a love or relationship. Eight of Wands can also, oops, Eight of Wands can also be Cupid's love arrows aiming directly in the direction of love or a relationship. For those of you who this is not that type of reading, it's just definitely not that type of reading. This is a twos are choices, unions, decisions, cups are emotions. So some, some type of contract or contract, contract, union, choice, or decision that you're making that propels you in the right direction or in a specific direction. The next card is moving on. Look at the direction you're going. You're making a choice, Pisces. And look at this. You're making a choice to move, I'm hearing move on with something that's a match for you. Now, some of you could be moving away from a romantic connection or some type of contract. That is a possibility as well. I hate to give contrary messages, but I am, I am seeing that. So it, it could also be that you're, for those of you who this is relational only, moving on from one relationship and moving singly or together, I'm going to bypass that part of the energy because I'm not getting a clear reading on that, as you can tell, because it's going back and forth. At more face value, we see an energetic shift, making a decision to move on. The Two of Cups with the Eight of Cups is Ten of Cups. We see a progression here from the Nine of Cups, harnessing that energy of what you truly desire. Harnessing, literally harnessing that energy of what you truly desire, making a choice to move forward with something that's a better match for you, that's some, something that's a complement for you that's equal, is going to lead you away from something that is less satisfactory or not satisfactory, emotionally unfulfilling, and move you towards the 10 of cups. Eight plus two is 10. So we do see a very beneficial shift occurring in your energy in this reading, but it's it's going to be a process is what spirit is saying here and advising you of is in order to recognize this shift in your energy, we need to go back to the process that spirit has outlined here of looking at your skills, your spiritual gifts, looking at what direction or what cup you want to give to. See, we have the seven of cups, the eight of cups, nine of cups, and then the culmination of two and eight is the 10 of cups. So we're seeing a progression, a process is occurring here where you come to peace, come to rest, and that creates an, a change that secures a foundation or helps you understand what direction to go if you're at a crossroads. Being in your seat of power is core, is critical to this process. And being in a place of peace, a place of rest, is going to support that. Then we see looking at the different options, looking at the seeds you've planted, how does your garden grow, taking a bold leap of faith on your wish fulfillment, on the desires of your heart, on in the direction that you are being called. And then we see this energetic shift when you make this decision or when you come to the point of clarity of what you want to, of what is truly your wish fulfillment, what you truly desire, of making a decision to move on from the things that are not in alignment with what you desire for yourself, for your life, for your energy, for your health, whatever that is, and moving forward to something that's going to make you much more happy and much more emotionally content and fulfilled. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.